SpaceX Comcast partnership. What? Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time today. We have a little bit of misty morning and focus combination. That zing, that bergamot, so good. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, talking photo, talking video. Today's the technology day. We'll be talking a little bit about SpaceX and a partnership with, I would guess, a rival company, Comcast. Comcast is massive. They have over... 2 million customers, a lot of, that's just business customers. There's a ton of people that use Comcast for their internet service as an ISP, an internet service provider. Well, there's a partnership that is happening between SpaceX and Comcast, which many would look at as kind of strange, but it's happening and it kind of makes sense. I was reading an article over on PC Magazine on like probably five or six different sources. They were talking about this partnership between the two companies and I found it fascinating. I wanna bring it to your attention because it just goes to show how far Elon Musk SpaceX has gone in the last 36 months. I mean, it's just exploded, literally exploded. Anyways, before we get into this article, I want to say that if you haven't downloaded any of my ebooks, check them out. They are free. Go to jchristina.com forward slash books. Also, if you want more content just on Starlink, I put together a playlist just for you. Check it out over here. Not now. When you're done watching this video, check out my Starlink playlist. There's about 300, I believe, videos just on SpaceX Starlink, helpful how-tos, tips, tricks, what to buy, what not to buy, how to do things, but more importantly, the why behind everything, because that's what this channel is all about, the why. If you want to say thank you for all of my hard work, for all of the thousand plus videos, click the little thank you button down there. You could give a dollar or two if you like. If not, that's perfectly fine. Consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better. And if you enjoy the video, even in the least, or find it at least entertaining, throw the video a thumbs up. That would be very helpful so that the YouTube gods shine their warm light on the channel. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. If you have, thank you very much. Click this little button over here so I go live when a new video comes out you will be notified of it immediately. Now that the housekeeping is done, let's jump right into this article. I'll give you some of my commentary over it. And then of course I wanna hear from you because you are the most important part of this channel, not me, this talking head here, right? Down below in the comments, let me know what you think. If you don't think anything, put a little emoji down there just so I know that you listened. <laughs> Anyways, guys, it starts out by saying SpaceX Starlink will be supplying internet to Comcast business customers. SpaceX has struck a deal with Comcast, one of the U.S.'s largest home and business internet providers, to supply Starlink access to the ISP's enterprise customers. Not home customers, enterprise customers. Keep that in mind. The strategic partnership applies to Comcast Business, which currently has 2.6, I knew it was over two, 2.6 million customers. Although Comcast Business operates 600,000 miles of fiber networks, it will tap into Starlink's orbiting satellites to help it deliver high-speed internet to enterprise customers in underserved regions or unserved regions. Very smart, Comcast. Very smart. In Friday's announcement, Comcast Business noted that some of its customers face connectivity challenges, especially in areas without access to high-speed fiber networks. That's a lot of areas, like where I am right now. I'm right out of the city, but still, there's no fiber here. It's considered rural, and who knows when we will get fiber, if ever. Anyways, I'm sure many of you are in the same situation. John Friedman, the SVP for Comcast Business, said, quote, Starlink's LEO, or Low Earth Orbiting Satellite Technology, complements our existing network infrastructure, extending our reach and further enhancing Comcast's business ability to deliver reliable connectivity solutions to enterprises with a human touch. Almost like IBM used to do, they would bring in an IBM machine and then they would service it from soup to nuts. If there was a problem, they would come in and fix it. If they needed to do an update, a guy would come in, white shirt, black tie, 
do the upgrade. Everything was hands-on with IBM. The same type of thing what's going on here with Comcast business or their enterprise services, which is, I think, very, very smart. There's a lot of companies that want that white glove type of service. Comcast, not Comcast Home, but Comcast Business will be delivering and installing and managing Starlink equipment. Very interesting. So just understanding this, that means that we're not going to see Comcast use it for their home customers. So if you have Comcast right now, Comcast Fiber, and you're like, I would like Starlink, they're going to be like, yeah, well, you can go order it from Starlink. What this means is they're going to be providing it to their business class clients as an alternative to fiber if there's not fiber there. But I think it might also be something more than that. I'll get into that in just a second. So I was thinking about this a little bit and I know in the past I used to say, well, fiber is the goal. If you are watching this channel and you want Starlink, well, chances are you're either a nomad or you're in an RV or in some type of rural situation where you cannot get fiber and you can't get cable, right? So that's what you're looking for. But I've always said the goal for everyone should be to get fiber. And what was interesting is just a couple of days ago, Elon Musk said basically the same thing. Fiber is kind of like where you want to be. And then SpaceX Starlink is the redundancy to the fiber. It is the backup to the fiber. Now, if you're in an area that will never get fiber, well, now all of a sudden SpaceX Starlink is the actual ISP, is the main means of getting internet, and then you might have some other service as a secondary, right? But in a situation where eventually you do get fiber, you probably are going to want something else as a backup. The way I look at it is I think this partnership is not only going to service the Comcast business customers that do not have access to fiber, but I do really believe that SpaceX Starlink is going to be a means of redundancy for those customers if they want it. A non-terrestrial means of internet connection because there are some customers out there that demand a 100% uptime. And there's no way to get a 100% uptime using one ISP because every ISP has some outages. And once again, if you are a client that cannot have an outage, you need to have redundancy. So how do you get that? Well, this is a perfect means. So if you're getting fiber from Comcast, well, you could say, I would like also Starlink from you because they will do the installation and do the managing of that service also. And I want that as a backup. Now, all of a sudden we have a 100% uptime because once again, now we have two ISPs, one terrestrial and one non-terrestrial. So chances of both of them going down simultaneously is very, very, very unlikely. So like I always say, two is one, one is none. If you have two of something, it's basically like having one. If you have one of something, if something goes south, guess what? You have nothing, right? So redundancy is next to godliness. You have to have redundancy, power redundancy, water redundancy, food redundancy, internet redundancy, some type of redundancy, right? Maybe you have a bike if your car isn't working. You need to have a backup plan to everything. And that doesn't mean like be like some kind of crazy prepper, but you need to have some type of means of having a secondary source on something that's important to you, like food and water and maybe the internet as of today. The internet is mission critical for most people today, unlike 20, 30 years ago. So internet is definitely something that you want to see a redundancy thereof. Now, I personally, all right, have SpaceX Starlink as a primary and I have T-Mobile Home as a secondary. I bond them together and I don't go down, right? I have pretty much a 100% uptime. Doesn't matter if T-Mobile goes down because we got Starlink. It doesn't matter if Starlink goes down because the weather is horrible. We have T-Mobile and a really large antenna out there. No problem. But if I was to get fiber tomorrow, I would not turn off my Starlink service. If I was to get 
fiber tomorrow, my fiber now would become my main internet service provider in comparison to now, which is SpaceX Starlink. And SpaceX Starlink would become the redundancy. It would become the backup. Just like what Comcast is doing here with SpaceX Starlink. Besides the new customers they're going to be bringing on board that they were never able to get on board before because there was no fiber in the area. And now they'll be able to go to a plethora of locations and be able to service people that were never able to get service before through SpaceX Starlink instead of fiber. My question to you is, do you have a backup internet service provider? And if you do, which one is your primary and which one is your secondary? And how are you implementing this? Do you have a multi-WAN router that's making it happen? Do you have a multi-WAN software solution that's making it happen? Or are you one of those plug and play guys? So when one service goes down, you just plug in the other one and off you go. I would love to hear from you what you're currently doing. I do both. I actually have a pep link for my multi-WAN service. So I have Starlink going into it and I also have T-Mobile and I have a really trashy AT&T connection going into it also, which is Uverse that only gets about 15 megs down and 1.5 megs up because AT&T sucks. Besides that, I actually have three internet service providers instead of two because I'm anal retentive. And I also have a solution, a software solution to be able to bond all of these together if I want to do it on a computer instead of through hardware. Once again, how do you do it? I hope you enjoyed this video, even in the least. If you did, throw it a thumbs up. That'd be awesome. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. If you are, like I said before, thank you. I appreciate it. Head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools I've invented for you and the merch and all the rest of my teas and tools and books and all that kind of stuff. Shirts, <laughs> pick something up. Help support me and my family. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected, and we'll see you in the next one. Love you all.